guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got OmniROM update that is the nightly 8th December 2013 version. So it is based on 4.4.1 which is the latest and greatest from Google. So we have a first view at that. Now let's get into the ROM. Uh, here is the lock screen which is well the same vanilla 4.4 lock screen, nothing flashy. You have the uh, Google Experience Launcher with uh, swipe for Google Now. I haven't activated Google Now yet, so it's not working now. What else do we have? Um, let's go to settings. You can see a picture there, right? So we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, let's go to settings. About phone. Here is the about phone setting. Okay, you can see it is based on Android 4.4.1 latest version from Google available uh, just released for Nexus 7, 4, 5 and all of that uh, devices this is OmniROM version 8 12 2013 which is 8th December the latest one the, which is incidentally the date of today you can see that right so I just downloaded and just flashed it I have been using 7 for a long time like yesterday from yesterday I have been using 7 as my uh, base uh, driver daily driver it really works wonders now what else so that's it from the uh, about phone page let's go to what other options the new options so uh, as you if you have seen my earlier review you can see that the interference uh, well, the layout has been changed you can see four menus instead of just one or two if you have been uh, using the later versions uh, now we have all these options. Let's get into it. Uh, here is bars option. So it is brightness control, notification count, uh, network speed indicator, which is this one, and network activity indicator. So you can enable all of these. I have enabled that. The brightness slider does work. You can see that. And the others also, you can see the uh, network speed indicator there works. Let's go to menus. Now menus is the options which are available in the power menu which is this one. I have enabled both but the screen recorder doesn't work as of yet. Uh, it might be in the future but we have to wait for it. Uh, it does have screenshot there. Uh, screen recorder is more um, for developers so I don't see a normal person using it and I will get to what I mean by that. Uh, notification drawer. It, now that's the thing which with, with the picture here so what it is is that you can read this I guess contextual notification panel header okay this, this is sets the background of the notification panel header to an image based on the current date and time that's an extremely awesome feature it is now it is December 8th 11.53 a.m. so it should be showing me a noon time picture right something of a gripe here it's showing me a twilight scene. I don't know why or what the inspiration is. I tried changing the date from the uh, date and time to GMT and uh, well it showed me a uh, noontime picture then. I'm not sure what the deal with that is but um, well I'll show you guys that. Uh, with the restart it should be working. Uh, London Dublin that is GMT. Oh. With the restart, it would go back to it. Um, after restart, I'll show you guys. So I guess the it's not perfect yet, but it is a really awesome feature. It just adds to the bling. It's it is awesome. So uh, what else do we have? You we have active display now. Uh, I do use this. It's really awesome. I have used this. This works perfectly. Only gripe I I have again is that. You can see the indicator, the uh, proximity sensor is on even with the screen on. So that's something which I guess has to be um, looked into. It's not perfect again. So what else? Let's see more options. In the more option, you have the clear all button from the recent views. So you have a clear all button if it's enabled or disabled. Clear all button position where it should be. You have two po four position, top left, top right bottom left and bottom right so again awesome you can see this I have put it at bottom right so it is working what else do we have now um, rest of the options are similar to what you would expect from a Nexus 5 device it is an USB based ROM uh, with a few bling so that's the main reason to offer this and one more thing as I've said um, this ROM I've uh, used this for two days it's fast as 
a user as a user with a uh, normal usage i won't say it can run the heavyweight applications like huge games or something like that uh, it's not just good for that uh, this one is good for people who have normal usage they do calls they surf the internet uh, they do send some messages they use social networking sites uh, things like that and then uh, they want the latest version of the rom so that's what their gripe is so i guess that is the kind of people whom this rom now is suited for this is 4.4.1 which is the latest so those who want the latest version can use this one i'm kind of like that person i use this as my daily driver i have a backup of it with all my apps loaded so i'm just go i am just using this without without even the gapps package installed to show you guys about the rom um what else do we have okay we do have the uh, non intrusive caller ui from the setting which is a huge thing from uh, omni rom this is you can see non intrusive uh, non intrusive uh, dialog for incoming calls whenever you are uh, using the phone and you get a call it just displays a small window like a toast uh, here which uh, shows you the picture of the caller the name of the caller accept and decline that's a really great feature to have uh, many a times it happens that whenever you are really really into some doing something you get a huge uh, screen full of just two buttons there are only two buttons there uh, accept or decline or again uh, send a reply message or something and a name the full screen is covered you don't have to need that so the non intrusive caller ui is a really uh, awesome feature um, what else do this have okay i have run the um, antutu benchmark on this uh, this seemed fast enough so that it can be compared to likes of carbon uh, carbon rom which i have been suggesting for a long time um, i did run antutu benchmark it crashes midway and when i did get it to work it gives me uh, a score of 14000 which well considering s3 it is really a missile score um, with carbon i got i got about 20 20 21000 uh, at an average with a uh, samsung based roms i got 19 18000 uh, average so as i've said this is not something you have to use for you can use for a he really heavy uh, resource pulling app so be, keep that in mind when you're trying to flash this one so i guess that must is it i will show you guys the boot animation and uh, so here is the omni rom boot animation <laughs> uh it is this guy android guy peeping out of a window which says omni on the bottom and he is blinking so that's the omni rom boot animation pretty awesome so um this is what I was talking about. You can see the picture, right? It is 6.29 a.m. And it's showing me a picture of the moon. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, that is uh, the situation of that. So I just want to show that to you guys. Uh, I haven't flashed the GApps package yet. So you are not seeing all the Google Play stuff and that. So this is just a basic package now. I guess that much is it about the ROM. Nothing much to be talking uh, talked about because, well, it is an Omni ROM. It is AOSD based. One thing I have to uh, say is that it is smooth. It is nothing like the first versions which I have handled. Uh, it has gone come along a long way, and uh, it, it it does seem to be uh, on the way to be making a perfect daily driver so please do check this out if you can withstand the fact that it can't run heavy apps at the full speed but still uh, get you where you can go so that's pretty awesome i guess that much is it about the rom um i guess you hope you like the video please subscribe like and share the video if you found it useful um uh, see you guys next time bye